Hi, I'm Mary Banks. Some of you might have heard of me. Um, I do pay attention and participate in various different streams on Twitch. I should be the first to admit that I'm not the best player in the game. But a few features have helped me improve and be more sure um, what tanks to take on the battlefield. Have the game, game going here. Just a second. Now. We're showing the T92 LT. And that's one of the tanks in my tank rotation. That's something you can easily get as well. Now, my rotation opens with... Far to the end, because that's where it is. The Lantern Sea. Now, the Lantern Sea, I was lucky enough, at least on NA, to get by a nice viewer. And for a short while, it so happened that whenever this viewer turned up, I ended up doing well in this funny little fella. EU has the benefits of adding this wonderful skin to the tank. So it looks a bit more dramatic. Because my collection of premium tanks are so limited on NA, the second tank I go to is my AMX Liberté. And they ended up actually liking this tank because it turned out that I can actually bounce huge amount of damage when angled and parked hold down correctly. I don't always succeed, but it's a working process. So, we start at the Lance and Sea. <laughs> the Lance and Sea. You know what? Uh, the Liberté, and then we start with the tank rotation, which for the first few tanks will be tier 8. Now the tier 8 is a good tier to stay at, um, because it's relatively high, so it does see tier 10 battles, but it's not tier 10, so the punishment for any mistakes or flaws aren't as hard hitting. The tank rotation begins, really, after the Liberté, and I keep playing those tanks until I get a first one in it. Now, let's see if I can find it, uh, because the next tank in my rotation is... Uh, 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 uh. Oh, you gotta be kidding. Uh, here we are. The Turtle Mark 1. This is the first one in the real tank rotation. To find your tank rotation, depending on the servers, I've just seen apparently that it differs from server to server. You go on the missions tab, and the under tab for missions. Scroll to the furthest down and hold it, because if you don't hold it, then it turns back up for some funny reason. There you go. We go back down. And here you see my tank rotation. Start with the Turtle Mark 1, the T92 LT, the next one will be my T42, then the Samoa SM, the Lerva, the Heavy Tank Number 6, which is also called the Japanese Tiger, the FV 4202, the MX 1357, and the leaf blower, which some of us in the Water IT Noobs community calls Pipi Le Piu Piu. These tanks are all premiums, so in any other case, and if not for anything else, it earns you a good bunch of credits. What I tend to do if I can end up 
to go through this line. I could go to take out these tanks and as the next one go to whoever, whichever tank I'm grinding. That way around I would know a bit better which tank to tank out. Should my confidence or anything be a bit down, I go for tanks I know that I have a special feeling in. Winning or losing, I would feel better. I can't say if this will be working for you, but it is a little thing that might help you to know which tank to take out in case you just have a huge amount of tanks you don't know which to take out. You can always go to the missions tab, open the rotation in whichever matter you like with some other premiums and then start on the tank rotation, which you'll see here um, in case of the EU. Now I can move my face cam so you can see it better. Here we go. Uh, and I scroll down again. Here we have it. Now there is an extra mission, which is five times XP for victories. I don't bother about that. I keep my focus in the tank rotation. To start out, getting a first one in these tanks, and then move on to whatever else I feel like play in. I hope this has helped you. Best of luck on the battlefields.